Hello everybody, um, so this video is going to be a little bit different but loads of people message me and they say like Sherelle how do you cope with being a parent and having health anxiety um, so this is Willow, <laughs> my little girl who is almost two and this is her brother um, so I'm currently six months pregnant so I've only got three months to go um, so I thought I would kind of do a really kind of real video of like us and um, kind of explain, yeah, kind of explain how I how I manage um, with. Oh, I've got a kick in the bladder. Ooh. Yeah, um, sorry, that was my son in my stomach. He's kicking me a lot. That was your brother. That was. Yeah. Yeah. Can you say hi? Can you say hello, YouTube? <laughs> Um, yeah, so I thought I would just do this video um, because it's a very, very good question um, and you know what, there's no sh kind of straightforward answer on how how I manage um, but you know what, the one thing that I find is amazing about kids is the fact that when you have them and you have health anxiety Mommy? Yes? They kind of... What are you doing, Mommy? I'm, I'm vlogging! Yeah. Yeah, you see me and you on the camera by there? Yeah. Yeah. You look very beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Can you see Mummy as well? There's Mummy and there's Willow. And, and Froggy. Is Froggy making an appearance as well? Yeah. Oh, wow. Froggy's very special, isn't he? Again. He's your best friend. Again. Again. Yeah. <laughs> My arm's aching already. Yeah. You're getting heavy, you are, aren't you? Yeah. Because you're such a big girl. Yeah. Um, so what I was going to say is that they force us to carry on because um, okay. your love for them is so strong that... Go down. You want to get down? Okay. Yeah. Um, you have to carry, you know, you have to, you have to get dressed and function in the morning. Um, I feel like my anxiety before I was, um, before I had Willow, it was very easy for me to sit around in the house, lay in bed all day because um, I didn't have Willow. Um, so now that I have Willow, um, and obviously I have another one on the way, it kind of motivates me to get up in the morning, get dressed, even if I'm having some of my worst days. Um, the only thing I think that has really intensified since having Willow, my daughter, is that my health anxiety towards her is insane like even if she just sniffles or if she feels a little bit warm I absolutely freak out um, and this is something that I need to work on because I don't want my health anxiety to rub off on Willow and I feel like Willow is a highly intelligent little girl um, and I feel like she will start picking things up very soon so I just need to really work on this because I feel like a lot of my anxiety comes from the way that I was parented um, and I really want Willow to kind of break the cycle in our family because sort of anxiety and mental health problems runs in our family so I know that she will be more prone to getting one um, and to getting anxiety so I, I just really want to do the best that I can um, to make sure that that doesn't happen to her and I want her to grow up and understand that you can have a healthy relationship with anxiety um, obviously there's no way to avoid anxiety completely um, it would be impossible but I want her to have a healthy relationship with anxiety and I want her to be able to express herself and um, so like I just do little things now like even like if she's angry for example I will say to her I'll say I can see that you're really frustrated and um, because you don't want to have a bath and I'll explain things to her as if she's an adult and um, because um, I feel like they take in a lot more than we actually give them credit for um, and when she's upset I'll say to her I can sense that you're feeling upset right now and if we're out and she sees a stranger that talks to her and I see that she gets a bit worried I'll say to her you're feeling a bit anxious right now because you don't know this person so people might think I'm a bit bonkers for doing that but I, ha I do read a lot into kind of child psychology and stuff because I feel like it's crazy how we have to take a test to you know to have a driving license but like we're just allowed to have kids with no psychology degree 
you know, we just leave the hospital with them and it's like, I just feel like you can do so much damage to a child. So the way that, we, you know, me and my partner Joe address situations and address her tantrums and, and things like that, we try and be as careful as we can because we realise that these first couple of years um, will have a massive impact on how she grows up. Um, so yeah, with, with my health anxiety regarding Willow, um, when she, when we brought her home from the hospital, I like was just convinced there was something wrong with her um, and that she was going to get really poorly, for, for no reason really. Um, but when she was 17 days old, she began to breathe really heavily. Um, and I was just convinced that, you know, she had something terrible like meningitis or sepsis and, you know, we ended up going to see multiple doctors and I wasn't satisfied and then we, you know, we ended up taking her into hospital and, and, you know, she ended up having like loads of blood tests done and this is something that I quite often beat myself up over because, um, because I feel like she had so many unnecessary tests, but, um, I had postnatal depression at the time, um, and postnatal depression usually goes one or two ways. Either you you don't bond with your baby, and that's where the the postnatal depression stems from, or you're massively overprotective. And with me, it was that I didn't really want anyone holding her. Um, I didn't want anyone kissing her. I just was obsessed with keeping her healthy. Um, and yeah, every time that she does get ill, I've really got to rein myself in because. I have taken her to A&E so many times, um, and a lot of the times unnecessarily so, um, and I'm quite lucky that I have a partner like Joe because he's so chilled and he's really logical. Um, <laughs> what are you doing? You hiding? Um, so he's able to calm me down. Are you hiding? That's a good hiding place. Are you going to do some colouring? Um, so... As I said, I've really got to rein myself in with Willow. Mommy. Are you hiding? Where's this little monster? <gasps> ah, there she is! That was a good hiding place. <laughs> Do you need help? <laughs> so I have gotten a lot better with Willow. When she gets I'm a temperature stuck. now... You're stuck! When she gets a temperature and she's poorly now, I do try to wait and see how she is. I press the button. Yes, you can't press the button because if you press that red button it's going to get rid of all of my video. Yeah. yeah. who do you have there? Who's that one? Daddy. That's the daddy one and who's that one? A mummy one. That's a mummy one and a daddy one. Yeah. Um. So yeah, Willow's not even two yet. She's two next I month so as you can imagine she does pick up a lot of things. Because she's at that age. Press red button. You can't press the red button. I tell you what, give me five more minutes yeah. and then you can press the red button for mummy. Yeah. Does that sound like a good plan? Yeah. So you have to wait a little bit and be a little bit patient. Yeah. Yeah? And, and then should we make some lunch? No. You don't want lunch? No. Um, so, yeah, I, I think... Lunch. You don't want lunch? No. I knew this video would be difficult to film. Not one that's okay then, we can have it a little bit later if you like. Press the red button. Press the red button in two minutes, okay? Two minutes. Two minutes. Can you get me the toolbox, please? Yep. Thank you very much. Can you go and get it for me? We can play with it. <laughs> go on then, go and get it. No. Can you go and get me the dinosaur? No. No. Can you go and get me the building blocks? No. No. She's in one of those moods. But, um, yeah, I just think you've got to be super careful with your health anxiety with your kids. Again? Um, again, Mummy? Again? Can you get me the dinosaur? No. Can you get me the toolbox? No. Can you get me the building blocks? No. Oh. Poor Mummy. Is Mummy going to have to go and get it with her big belly? No. <laughs> um... So, yeah, having Willow has made my health anxiety worse, obviously. In a minute, babes, not just yet. But also, she helps me to 
get out. And you know what? What you can learn from your children is they are so present. Willow is completely present right now. She's not worrying about tomorrow. She's not thinking about what happened yesterday. She's living for right now. And I feel like she has taught me so much. I want to press the red button. Give me two minutes, okay? Where's Froggy? There he is. He's on his own by there. Um. So, yeah, if you are, you know, planning on having... <laughs> not yet! If you're thinking of having children and you're worried because of your health anxiety, just know that I think as parents are so strong and resilient um, that we just manage in a minute. Um, and don't get me wrong, I still have my awful days where Jo has to look after her for most of the day because I'm so up with my anxiety but I definitely mm -hmm. get out of the house for her we do a lot of exploring don't we what's your favorite place to go to Willow um, mummies mummies yeah well, we, what else do you like to do um, and this isn't mummy's house this is our house, our house. it's our house yeah mm. what do you like to do do you like to go to the park or the beach what do you like the park. You like to go to the park? Yeah. And what do you do at the park? Um, what do you play on? A, a swing. The swings. And what else can you play on in the park? The um, slide. The slide, yeah. What else? Um, the seesaw. The seesaw. What's your favourite, though, out of them all? What's your favourite? <laughs> but is your favourite the slide, the seesaw or the swings? The um, seesaw. The seesaw. My favourite is the swings. Um, no, my favourite is the swings. Well, we can both have a favourite of the swings, can't we? No. It can be both of our favourites. No. <laughs> um, yeah, so this video is dragging on now. But if you do have any questions about parenthood, nearly parenthood and ha you know having children and health anxiety shoot me a message down below i've also started a health anxiety facebook group um yeah two seconds okay come and wait with mummy then come here so what we got to say now is we've just got to tell youtube that we started a a new facebook group didn't we and it's called health anxiety community and you can find it by um, people have had trouble finding it. If you type in Health Anxiety Community onto Facebook and click on Groups, we're going to be quite far down because there's only like 70 members. I'll also put the link in the um, bio of this um, so you can find it. Um, you hiding? Um, so yeah, like I, you know, it's really easy for us to all chat on there, have conversations. So um, if you fancy joining us, you know, join us. It's a it's a private group, so um, you know, n nothing that you put on there will be public, um, and it's just a really nice group of people. I explained in my previous video why I decided to do this Facebook group, and it's basically because I was part of quite a few um, Facebook groups, and a lot of them were very toxic with a lot of judgmental people. Um, I was actually moderator of the one group and the admins were bitching about the members in the the private kind of uh, chat so I was just like you know what this is not how I think people with health anxiety should be treated so we that's why I decided chocolate. to we have chocolate chocolate yeah. well treats are for after dinner time aren't they once we've eaten all of our dinner but what we can do is we can have some lunch we can make some yummy lunch we could do some homemade pizzas. Yeah? No. <laughs> or we could do some sandwiches. No. What would you like then? Uh, peas. Peas. That's what she wants, lady and gents. Peas. You just want a big bowl of peas? Yeah. Okay. That's fine. You can have what you want. Yeah. If you want peas, you can have peas. Yeah. Right, can you come and say here come here so we can say bye to YouTube and then you can press the button to me for me. So you've got to stand up by me and we say bye-bye YouTube. Can you bye, wait? YouTube. Bye YouTube and press the red button then.